Hi, welcome to my channel Jabbertang. Today I'm going to go over two examples, as you could see, in multiplying in base 5. This and this right here. Remember that base 5 uses only the numbers 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Let's get started. Before I move on, I just want to give you a quick look about counting in base 5 and the multiplication table in base 5. It's very handy to have it next to you as you go. Take a look. Base 5 uses the number 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. After 4, it's filled. When we add 1 to 4, we have to open another digit to the left, just like in uh, base 10. 9 is filled. Add 1 to 9, I have to make another digit to the left and make a 0 here. So here, 4 is the highest number that I could have. By adding 1 to it, I have to force it to 0 and add 1 on a new digit or a new place value to the left. 1, 4, add 1 to it. I can't, 4 is filled. So what I do, I make the 4, 0 and add 1 to my left, which could take 1, and that makes it 2. So counting in base 5 will help a lot. Multiplying in base 5 will help a lot before we start. Take a look. I'm uh, keeping those in green because 2 times 2 is 4, and 4 is in base 5 still. 2 times 1 is 2. I don't need to think about these numbers. I could just do it without looking at the table. When it comes to these numbers, take a look. 3 times 3. 3 times 3 is 9 in our system. But how many 5s in 9? Just one 5, right? And what's the remainder? That's a 4. So take a look. You see the answer? 1, 4. So you don't have to memorize the table. You could just do it yourself. Let's take another one. 4 times 4. That's 16. How many 5s in 16? That's five, uh, 3 5s and 1 left as a remainder. You could see the answer. 3, 1. So let's keep those in mind. Keep them handy as we go. Here's my first example. 204 times 432 or the other way around 432. 432 in base 5 times 204 in base 5. Let's break it down one by one. Let's start with 2. 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times 4 is 8. But 8 has 1, 5, and 3 units. Right there. So, 2 times 4 is 8. 8 is 1, 5, and 3 units. So we call it 1, 3 in base 5. So we write the 3 here. And we carry the 1. 2 times 0 is 0. And 1 is 1. We write it down. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 is fine. In base 5, we write it down. We'll move to 3. And we move one place to the left right here. 3 times 4. After we take this out, because that's going to confuse us. The one on top. 3 times 4 is 12. We just mentioned that right here. 3 times 4 is 12. And 12 has... Two fives and two units, which is looks like 22. 12. And 12 has two fives and two units, so it looks like 22. So we write 2 here, and we carry the 2. 3 times 0 is 0, and 2, it's 2. 3 times 2 is 6. 3 times 2 is 6, and that's 1 5 and 1 unit. So we write... 1, 1, because there is no place to carry. We move to the 4. 4 times 4 is 16, and 16 is 3 fives and 1 unit. So we write the 1 right here, and we carry the 3 up here. 4 times 0 is 0, and 3 is 3. 4 times 2 is 8, and 8 is 1, 5, and 3 units. And we write them down. Then we add. 
3 goes down 1 and 2 is 3 4 and 2 and 1 that's 7 and 7 is what 1 5 and 2 units which is 2 and we carry the 1 1 and 1 and 3 that's 5 and 5 is actually 1 5 and 0 units so we write the 0 and we carry the 1 same same thing we, carry the zero, we write the 0 and carry the 1 and we write the 2 and that is the answer 200233 three in base 5. Now in base 5, we multiplied these two numbers and we came up with 200233. Three. In base 10, we have the following. Let's convert everything to base 10. 204, 2 times 5 to the second, 0 times 5 to the first, 4 times 5 to the zero, and we do the math, we end up with 54 base 10. Let's take the other number. Same idea, same concept. I have 117 base 10. Let's take the answer. Just do the math. I'm not reading everything. I just want to save you some time and give you the concept. It's 6318. So in base 10, after we add them up, of course, this is what I have. So this number is 54. This number is 117. This number is, yeah, you can double check, multiply this by this, and you get 6318 that agrees it just for practice do you have to do it this way do you have to double check it's good to practice and it's good to believe in it back and forth and so on that shows how to convert and that shows how to multiply and how to double check let's take another example the second example uh, since we are familiar with these uh, numbers and how we could count in base 5 or multiplying base 5 Having them handy also will help to go faster. So let me go a little bit faster than the first example to save you some time. We're multiplying 3 to 1 in base 5 times 2, 4 in base 5. Or the other way around. 4 times 1 is 4. That should do it for now. 4 times 2 is 8. And 8 is 1, 5 and 3 units. And you could just do it from here. 4 times 2 is 4. Here is times 2, which is uh, 8. And 8 is 1, 5, and 3 units. So even looking right here, that slows me down a little bit. But we could just do it without even looking at the table. It is common sense. Trust me. You could do it quick with me, and let's move on. So we said 4 times 2 is 8, but 8 is 1. 5 and 3 units, so we're going to write 3, and we're going to carry the 1. 4 times 3 is 12, 12 and 1, 13, 13 has 2 5s and 3 units, 2 5s and 3 units, we're done. Let's move to the 2, 2 times 1 is 2, 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times 3 is 6, and 6 is 1, 5, and 1 unit. And we'll start adding 4. 3 and 2 is 5. But 5 is 1, 5, and 0 units. So we write the 0 and carry the 1. 1 and 3 is 4. 4 and 4 is 8. And 8 is 1, 5, 3 units. So we write the 3 and carry the 1. 1 and 2 is 3. And 1 is 4. That's we could handle. Bring the one down, and that should do it. We're done. Let's double check. Do we have to? No, but it's good to know how to convert and how to double check if, in case if you need to. It's a practice. Now, this is our problem. If you convert 321 in base to base 10, we know how to do it. 3 times 5 to the second. I do have a video about converting. I will have the link down below for this video. You could double check how to convert. Back and forth. 3 times 5 to the second plus 2 times 5 to the first and 1 times 5 to the zero, which is units. Doing the math, I came up with 86 base 10. 
24 base 5 that's my second number that's how we do it and I have 14 base 10 now let's convert this number to base 10 same idea I'm not reading all this I'm just displaying it for you to save you some time and save myself time from reading them and make the video less and less time so what this says says in base 10 if you multiply this number by this number we should get this number and that is true and that should do it for this video thank you thank you for watching if you like this video hit the like button and subscribe and i'll see you next time thank you